Our volleyballs are looking so fresh and so good on and off the court as we are saying hello from the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center dito sa napakagandang lungsod ng San Juan for another match day here in Season 99 of the NCAA New Heroes of the Game. The defending back-to-back -back champions, Benil Lady Blazers, are set to play in their second match of the season against the San Beda University Lady Red Spikers who are looking to bounce back after losing their first match of the season last April 9, Laban sa LPU Lady Pirates. You are watching us on GMA Network.com, NCA Philippines, YouTube, and Facebook. And also, to get all the latest news sa Tarangan ng Palakasan, do follow GMA Sports PH on Facebook and on X. Maboy, Pilipinas, at maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. My name is Anton Rojas, joined alongside a man who went straight from GMA Studios right here to the <laughs> Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Unang hirit, weatherman, and former King Cardinal and NCAA best blocker, Anjo Pertiera. Brother, grabe naman yung introduction mo. Pwede ba akong bumawi? <laughs> Good morning, brother. It's nice to see you here again, syempre, dito sa side panel lang. Court natin. It's so nice to be here to feel the atmosphere at makita natin. Siyempre, isang magandang araw para sa mga volleyball fans at sobrang exciting itong game na ito. Oh, ito yung specialty mo ngayon eh. Ito yung mm -hmm. oras na gising na gising si Mr. Anjo Pertiera. Naku po, parang hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we will also be joined by our courtside reporter Diana Igual who will give us the latest updates mula sa dalawang kupunan na maglalaban ngayon ang San Beda at ang Benil. So we'll get to you in just a bit. Diana, now, Anjo, itong San Beda, this was a team that you already covered dito sa NCAC yeah. sa 99. Despite it being a young team with 11 new additions and a new coach in Coach Edgar mm -hmm. Baroga, ano yung mga positives na nakita mo dito sa San Beda? Well, first of all, isang malaking revelation itong si Habakon. Wow. Imagine a rookie playing like, hindi rookie eh. Grabe yung confidence niya, andun yung attacking power. Ano lahat, kung pwedeng may pipiliin si Coach Edgar Baroga na poprosyentuhan, mas alo pag crunch time na, it's her, it's Habakon. Kung titingnan natin yung last game niya, no, pag-uusapan natin, meron siyang 15 points, 13 spikes, 1 kill block, and 1 service ace. So halos lahat ng department, scoring department, nagawa niya ng parang pinakita niya na, ay, wala akong first game jitters. I'm a rookie but I'll show you what I'm made of. And nga, what a big revelation for Coach Edgar Baroga and para sa San Beda Lady Red Spiders. Kaya new heroes of the game ang tema natin mm -hmm. dito sa Season 99. We're always on the lookout sa ating mga bagong rookies na handa ng magpakitang gilas. And of course, Angel was the player that showed her stuff in her debut game in the NCAA. As you mentioned, tallying 15 points. Truly heaven sent. Yeah. Itong player na to. Now, if there's a player that you've watched on the women's game who reminds you of Angel Habakon, is there anybody that comes to mind, Anjo? Gretchen Soltones. Oh, really? Wow, that's yes. a high standard. Yes, ha? her rookie year as well. Mm -hmm. Halos ginto. Parese lang kumpiansa. Parese lang malakas ang loob kapag pumapalo. Palo ng palo. Mas talo pagdating sa service line. The whole game, me and Martin that time, nagtataka kami hindi siya napapagod kasi bro, Lahat ng sinerve niya, jump serve at sobrang bilang sa daliri sa isang kamay yung naging errors niya sa service line. Yung hindi siya napapagod, I fondly remember Gretzel Soltones during her days in the NCA hindi napapagod, beast mm -hmm. mode all throughout, just toss the ball up, hahabulin niya ni Gretzel yes. Soltones and will find a way to score. Kahit out of system, hahanapan niya ng paraan. That's so true bro. Pero ito nga, no, tough loss nangyari sa kanila against the LPU Lady Pirates kasi that time, they committed 28 
unforced errors na sobrang nagbigay ng malaking puwang para sa LPU na ma-maximize yung kanilang mga uh, momentum and attacking set plays. Mas ayaw na nga, ang LPU nakapag-service ace lang naman ng 14. That's so big. Kaya naman sobrang nalimit, nalimitahan yung set plays na itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers at konti lang ang nakapag-produce ng atake dati. Now let's move over to the other side and pag-usapan itong Benilde Lady Blazers starting off their quest for a three-peat and so far so good except for that third set na medyo dumikit yung EAC Lady General sa kanila. Kung makikita natin itong stat sheet, Antono, lamang sila sa halos lahat ng department na nandito sa screens nyo. Mga kapuso, kung makikita nyo, pati po sa unforced errors, 17 lang ang binigay ng CSB Blazers. Doon natin makikita ang puso at ang pagiging consistency ng isang champion team. Kasi nga, they're looking for their back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back championship this season. And in this game, Anjo, they got their 30th straight victory. Imagine, hindi pa natatalo itong kupunan na to sa NCAA since January 29, 2019. That was before the pandemic, NCAA season 94. And what's more scary about the Benil Lady Blazers, they have 12 holdovers in this team. At hindi mo alam on any given match kung sino ang bibida in the last game against EAC, it was Mitch Gamit. At ang nakakatakot doon, Anton, hindi na nila alam kung anong pakiramdam ng matalo. <laughs> Ayun yung nakakatakot. Kasi kapag pinangahawakan nila yung panalo araw-araw, araw-araw nilang ne-expect na mananalo sila. At yung kumpiyansa nila, sobrang taas natin. Hirap ng pababain yan. So in a way, if you're San Beda, you're trying to hope also na magkumpiyansa itong Benil Lady Blazers and you can take advantage of that. Well, we'll see. Let's turn it over to our Coliseum announcer para makilala mga starters ng Benil at ng San Beda. Magandang araw mga kapuso mula sa Phil Oil Eco Oil Center sa San Juan City. Ito po ang inyong NCAA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game. Mapapanood sa GTV Worldwide sa pamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International at my live streaming pa sa gmanetwork.com and sa Philippines website, YouTube, and Facebook with NCA updates, highlights, and results on GMA Integrated News. Introducing our officials for this match. First referee is Sphinx Kabusa. Second referee is Pretzel De Lara. And now, let's beat our teams first, the San Beda University Lady Red Spikers. And their opponents, the College of St. Benil Lady Blazers. And now let's be the starting six first for the San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Outside hitter number one, Angel Abacon. Another outside hitter number five, Chai Castillo. Setter number eight, Kat Molina. Opposite spiker number nine, Janelle Machar. Middle blocker number 15, Lalaine Arizapa. Another middle blocker number 16, Erin Navarro. Their starting libero is number 11, Milka Flores. The head coach of the Lady Red Spikers is Edgar Baroga. And now let's be the starting six for the two-time defending champions, the CSB Lady Blazers. Medal blocker number three, Mitch Gummit. Center number eight, Luan Mondonieder. Opposite spiker number nine, Gail Pascual. Outside hitter number 14, Wewe Esoke. Outside hitters 13, captain number 17, Jessa Dorog. Middle blocker number 21, Sam Nolasco. Their starting libero is number five, Fiona Getiga. The head coach of the Lady Blazers is Jerry Yi.
Coach Jerry Yee in his fifth season as the head coach of the Benil Lady Blazers, excuse me, and Coach Edgar Baroga in his first season and second match as the head coach of the San Beda Lady Red Spikers. And perhaps the biggest change na ginawa ni Coach Edgar Baroga is that he converted last season's best scorer on the team, Kat Molina, into a setter. So, ano masasabi mo, Anjo, sa transition ni Kat Molina from open spiker, leading scorer to setter? I mean, ang pinapakita naman ni Molina ngayon, hindi siya nahihirapan. At gusto niya yung role niya ngayon sa team. Pero for me, sobrang laking transition nun. Kasi nga, isa ka sa biggest contributor sa ataking department last season. And then biglang, boom, ikaw na yung setter. Ikaw na yung nagko-control ng vapor. So, it's a big responsibility para kay Molina. She was averaging 9.6 points per match for the Lady Red Spikers last season. Dalawa kasi yung nawala sa kanila na setter, Pachi Senzon, and last year's backup setter, Ariana Pinondo. Kaya siguro no choice si Coach Edgar Baroga but to convert Kat Molina is just surprising kasi di ba, number one scorer mo, tapos ginawa mong playmaker. Yun na nga eh. So, Si Coach Edgar for sure nahirapan siya but then again meron sa lang revelation no kay Habakon kaya kung ano may yung spot na nawala galing kay Molina napalitan naman agad. Now I did notice brother Anjo na nung tinawag yung starting lineup si Angel Habakon she was leaning on the sideline. Is that a practice na ginagawa ng mga volleyball players or is that something unique para sa San Beda? Ako bro I used to do that before. Okay. So, parang ang ginagawa ko, tinatouch ko din yung floor before entering the floor, inaalik yung laro ko sa Diyos. Gale plus one. Na parang maging safe lahat. Siyempre, it's a sport. So, we need to enjoy it and we need to be a blessing to others. Diba? Kasi nga, God's gift. So, it's a good practice. Yeah. Para kay Angel Habakon and others who do that as well. Tutu, ang ating talaan. Here's the pass. Molina will set it up for the rookie, Angel Habakon. Pascual trying to tip it over. Blockers were there. Pascual, second try. There's a block point for... And San Bella denies Pascual. No, it's a block for Arizapa. Ang ganda ng timing. Good close out para sa cross-court attack. Ito yung isa sa ginawa na naging effective ng San Bella. Lady Red Spikers na nakaraang laro nila against the LPU Pardits na maayos ang kanilang naging blocking that time. So that was another rookie, Lane Arizapa. Strong on the net. I like the effort of the young Lady Red Spikers. Ha? Maski na medyo malayo na yung papunta yung bola, hinabol pa rin. Tama bro. It's nice to see na lahat tumakbo papunta doon sa second ball dapat. Doon mo makita. Ayun ang team. And you can see that uh, these young ladies are responding to their new coach, Edgar Baroga. Let's see where Molina will go. She goes to China Castillo. No check ball for Castillo. Yeah, that was out. But that set was too low for Castillo. Medyo na pabilis din yung set. Mababa kaya nahirapan na mag-adjust. China Castillo came off the bench and scored 11 points for San Beda sa kanilang huling laro. Laleng Arizaba! That was check out, Arizaba. Ito yung medyo nagkulang sa last game ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Medyo hindi nila may bibigyan yung middle attackers nila. Kaya naman, yung blockers ng LPU that time ay nasa opposite spikers na. Sobrang dali na blockin para sa kanila. It's a good thing. It's a good sign na nabibigyan na yung middle sa langayon. Service error para kay Lane Arizapa. Point close to the Lasers. One of the surprises also para sa Benil this year was that ginawang kapitan ni Coach Jerry itong si Jessa Doro even though she's just a sophomore. Siyempre, alam naman natin Coach Jerry Kabisado niya ang players niya at alam niya kung sino ang nararapat. No wonder. Ano, grabe yung tiwala, no? Sa isang sophomore binigay. I mean, you would think na bibigay niya sa isa sa mga seniors, but to put his trust on a sophomore, that says a lot. Yes, pero ito na nga. Speaking of says a lot, gamit. With their last playing year, gamit na gamit. 
Ganda ng running spike niya that time. Pitch gamit, the only graduating player on the lineup para sa Vinil. So, kumbaga, ito rin yung victory lap ni Mitch. Yeah. Ito rin yung atake ni China Castillo. Ito, isa rin ito si Castillo na matapang. Lahat ng bola pinapalo niya. Pero pag dikdikan na, doon lumalabas yung wit and smarts ng paglalaro ng volleyball. Montoniedo, tossing it up. Wow! A lot of power on that spike for Waylon Estoque. Aha, pero yun nga, medyo na-late din yung blockers ng San Pedro doon that time. Kaya medyo malaki yung space para doon sa cross-court attack ni Estoque. Mitch Gamit at the service line. Molina, tossing it up. Makar, nothing there. Flores unable to save that ball properly. Kaya naman, timeout muna tayo. Benil leads San Beda 8-5. At sa aming pagbabalik, Diana Igual will give us her first courtside report. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang mag sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Aira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lee. Mga kapuso, welcome back to the ball game. We still have the Benil Blazers versus the Sanbeda Lady Red Spikers. Anton and Anjo, this is a young roster going up against a season one. At hindi man nakamit ng Sanbeda ang kanilang unang panalo of the season, He's head coach five. Edgar Baroga is quite happy with how the team responded to his call during their last game. At today, ang focus naman is really on mental toughness at kung paano sila makakabangon after every setback na pwedeng mangyari on the court. Now, on the side of the Benil Lady Blazers, nakausap ko si assistant coach Jay Chua, and as for him, as always, the team is physically and mentally ready to take on kung sino man ang kanilang makakalaban. They are just reminded to really maintain that energy until the last stretch to create a cushion and secure that win. Anton and Anjo? So business as usual para sa Benil Lady Blazers, but San Beda 
Showing a lot of fight in the early going, Anjo. Pero yun na nga, nabanggit yung Diana kanina. No? Alam naman ng Sandeda na itong katapat nila is season team na sobrang tagal nang magkakasama at ilang championships na napanalo. Pero this time, sabi nga ni Coach Edgar, is about being mental, mentally tough. Mas lalo pag ganito yung mga kalaban mo. Kasi nakaka-intimidate yan, brother Antoni. Lalo na in terms of the experience, the back-to-back -back championships and the physical advantages as well yes. as we see right there at the top of the net with these tall, tall blockers. Yes. Ito, magandang ginawa naman ng Sandeda. Nag-try silang mag-set ng play kaso hindi nga nabisig ng Nico. Ito, may the blockers ng build. Due to experience na rin. Kaya naman na block. Back row attack, Montoniedo. Estoque. Habakon gets denied. Rock point for CSV. Nakita ko yung ginawa ni Molina. She tried to do a low fast set kasi nga ina inaasahan niya na kapag malalaki, mababagal humabol. Mas alam, mabagal sumide step. But then again, ang ganda ng close out blockings ng CSV Blazers. Kill block para sa kanila. You know, one of the things that we were interested to see was how Angel Habakot would attack the best defensive team in the NCAA. Tingnan natin yung magiging adjustments niya. Ang lalaki kasi ng blockers na dito eh. So definitely a challenge but a learning experience for the young Habakot. Ooh! Sam Nolasco! Speaking of challenge, Sobrang macho challenge yung San Beda Lady Red Spiders sa middle blockers ng CSP. Isa na dyan yung pagiging ang tangkad. So patalon pa lang sila, nasa area na itong middle blockers ng CSP Blazers. Well, one of the things I like dito sa Benil, as we see Habakon make the adjustment and get the point. Good job para kay Molina. Nakita natin yung pag-delay niya ng set para kumagat yung middle blocker ng CSB Blazers at isa na lang matalang blocker para kay Habakon. Good cross-court attack. Before that, I was gonna say na I like how the sophomores are very much involved. Si Sam Dolasco at si Waylin Estoque ng Binil. Yes, they're very active. Kumbaga, hindi lang nagre-rely si Kloan sa mga veterano and yung mga usual suspects like, mm -hmm. like the Gail Pascuals and the Jade Hentapas. Mm -hmm. Yun yung maganda sa CSB Blazers kasi lahat pwede mong gawing option. Wala kang hindi babantayan. Eh. Lahat sila may killer instinct. And that's Gaira Baroga, the daughter of Coach Edgar Baroga and also a member of our NCA broadcast team. Busy, busy rin yung schedule ni Gaira. Oh. Today, cheerleader. <laughs> At, uh, there were also some times na she would play for her dad. Uh -huh. And even against her dad. Ano ko yung pakiramdam ng gano'n? One day, para sa dad mo. The other day, kalaban mo naman. Love-hate relationship daw. Girl, bago mo yung pakita. Gusto ko makita mo. Sa first set, gusto ko makita nyo, makita ko yung kung ano meron ka. Tignan ko rin kung ano ang black mistake. Pakin ka sa sarap. Ha? Tapos cover kayo. Ha? Kahit na anong mangyari. Pakin nyo lang. Kaya mo dalang. Huwag nyo ibabawal. Habaan nyo yung habaan. Saka sa target natin sa service, ibigay nyo yung service na ng target natin. Ah, binibigay nyo lang. Target nyo. Kung binibigay nyo lang, targahan nyo na. Coach Edgar, bibigay ng payo. Kasi nga, kapag matatangkad yung blockers mo sa harapan, hindi pwedeng ibabaon mo yung palo mo. Kasi automatic kill block yun eh. So go for the long ball. Hope, for, hope na kahit check out or kahit block rebound lang and then get ready for defense. Go for long rallies. Substitutions here. Sophomore Klain Abraham. Wearing jersey number two is in. And backup setter, a rookie, Gina Espina, is also in now. Let's see what we're going to do. Oh! Mm -hmm. What a setup! 
Yes. A very quick one for Gamit. Second technical timeout. Ganda nung court presence eh. Alam nila eh. Walang blockers. Quick set. Automatic. Punto sa gan. It's an eight-point lead for Benilde. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato ni... Matt Cop representative... Mr. Frank Gusi of the University of Perpetual Help System, Dalta. He's also the chairman of this year's volleyball tournament and Coach Dax Castellano, Mancom rep for the College of St. Benil. This is Sam Nolasco, too strong on too the serve. Mm, too strong. He gets Nolasco that time. yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, Anton, bro. Makakailang jump serves itong si Habakon, pero hindi siya mapapagod at sobrang nililimit yung errors niya. Now I understand kung bakit mo sinabi na Gretzel Soltones. Yes. yes. Naalala ko nung panahon ni Gretz, siya lang yung nagja-jump serve, eh. Yes. And there were times na pag, halimbawa, late in the afternoon, maglaro yung San Sebastian. And minsan walang drums. Rinig na rinig yung ano eh, impact ng palo. Iba, iba si Gretzel that time. Actually, hanggang ngayon naman, iba ang isang Gretzel Soltones. Ngayon, ang dami na nagja-jump serve. So it's nice to see that Gretzel has inspired generations. Previous play, regalo para kay Gamit losing, using her long right arm. Easy point para kay Gamit. 
Ito yung, ito yung isa sa maging, naging struggle ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Yung kanilang reception. Hindi sila nakakapag-set ng maayos sa place dahil medyo hirap sila eh. Hindi lang nakahatid sa setter ng maganda yung bola. Jade Hetapa is now in. As is Pasarte. Gamit. Good timing on the other side. Three ball. A rare one for San Beda. Arizapa, nothing there. Gamit. Delayed it a little bit. And that's why it was so hard to defend. Yes. And ito, gamit na gamit ang isa sa mga kailangan bantayan na atake ng CSB Blazers. Itong kanilang mga middle attacks. Alam naman natin na sobrang dominant ng CSB Blazers pagdating sa middle ever since nung first championship pa nila. Yeah, there another free pull. We can go back to the time of uh, Jeanette Panaga. Yes. <laughs> One of the best to name middles. Yes, uh, oh, oh, to ever play yeah. for Benil. Kailangan ng magkaroon ng stop dito ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Kamagat na ng husto. Oh. It's an 11-point advantage for Benilde. Pero, ang nakakatuan lang, Coach Jerry, despite of the league, sobrang focused pa rin yung in-game. Uh, <laughs> Hindi mo siya nakikita ang nagre-relax. Eh. Nakatayo pa rin siya sa sidelines. And touch against San Beda Point Rose. Timeout, San Beda University. Cloan and Chene, the setters making it look easy. Coach Edgar asking for composure para sa kanyang players. Kasi nga, medyo, kung makapansin natin, nagra-rattle na sila eh. Parang they don't know, they don't play the system anymore na ginawa ni Coach Edgar. Kaya naman, he's instructing her play, his players na breathe, relax. Go back to the system, play. That's a better first ball for San Beda. And Tapa. Wow. Kamit, regalo. Again. <laughs> Iba talaga ang advantage ng Matangkad, Anton. Kitang kinabot. Halos clippings lang yung ginawa ni Gavin dati para sa regalong yun. That's a slam dunk of a spike by Mitch Gamit. Six points already for Mitch Gamit. Service goes out. Point goes to the Lady Red Spikers. So Mitch Gamit just four points away from matching her output. In their first match, where she was the player of the game. Pasarte. And Hentapa finishes the play. Ayun yung mahirap, Anton. Kapag sobrang dominant na ng, mid ng middle spiker ng kalaban, automatic, sasabay ka, kakagat ka. Kapag sinet yan sa likod ng patong, malilate na yung blockers. Mas mapapadali yung open spiker na papatong sa play na yun. Back set. Getigan. Gamit again. Seven Mitch points Gamit. for Mitch Gamit. Ang ganda nung habol nung set play na yun. Galing kay Basarte. Galing sa likod. Hinabol sa harap. Puntos pa rin. Galing para kay Mitch Gamit. Mahirap yun. Ha? Sa likod kasi galing yung set. Eh. So kailangan mong timing yan ng maayos. Serving for the set. Jessa Tomo. Set point for Benil, but they're going to have to wait a little bit longer before they get the win. Ayun, nagpapalik sa ating laro. Kat Molina. Returning is number nine, Janelle Bachar. Ano kayo nararamdaman ni Kat, no? Gustong-gusto kaya niya pumalong ngayon. I'm trying to think of nga eh, who were the spikers in recent memory. Na, na naging setter. Na-convert sa setter, di ba? 
Meanwhile, Hendapa breaks down the wall. And Benil takes that opening set. 25 to 11. Panorin natin muli. One of the best in the league. Jade Hentapa. Kami po'y magbabalik para sa set number two. Inyo pong napapanood ang NCAA Season 99. New Heroes of the Game. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lapang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Aira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa It only took 20 minutes. Yun lang ang oras na kinailangan ng Benil Lady Blazers upang makamit ang first set 25 to 11. It has been a very dominant first set para sa Benil Lady Blazers kontra sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Kumakita natin yung stats. Ito yung highlights natin kaninang set 1. I mean, my, my glimpse of greatness from Habakon, but... It's not enough. They need another player to step up and have the courage to face the CSB Blazers. Mas ano itong towering blocking defense ng CSB Blazers? Yeah, right now it's just over overwhelming yes. for the part of San Beda kasi ang daming materiales ng Benil, Lady Blazers. You've got Mitch Gamet doing damage. May Gail Pascual ka, tapos may nakareserba pang Jade Hentapa, mm -hmm. who so far this season, Coach Jerry has been using off the bench. And then my MVP pa na Micah Go, Micah Go yes. who has yet to play heavy minutes this season. So sobrang daming nakatagong bala ni Coach Jerry. So it is really a practice as... Anjo was explaining earlier, pati yung mga Benil Lady Blazers, as we see the stats. Tita mo naman, Anton, from every department, sobrang lamang ng CSB Blazers from attack. More than triple ang pinutus ng Benil Lady Blazers. Lamang sa blocks, aces, wala parehas, pero ang lima lang ang binagay. Sobrang Start consistent ng Benil Lady Blazers kontra sa anim ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Serving cool up, 
Ano Pero maraming... compensated eh ng attacking oh, oh. department nila kahit wala ng aces. 17. Just overwhelming odds. Here we go. Set number two officially underway. Gail Pascual soaring and scoring. San Vera able to keep it alive. Ketigan. Binigay dito kay Gail. Gail Pascual. Finishes the job. Kung hindi kumana ng una, ibigay ng pangalawa. Wala problema para kay Gail Pascual. Mapa-open, mapa-utility. Masa tumasang bola. Ayawin kaya ko anong paraan at pumuntos. Estoque. Molina. And Jay De La Cruz. Jay De La Cruz gets the point for San Mary University. New entry to the game. Yeah, do the adjustment para kay De La Cruz. Medyo mababa na yung fight ng bola. Opted for a checkout. Puntos. Sophie Cagalawan starting off this rally. Dorog. Right in between De La Cruz and Abraham. Nakakakuha naman ng Black Bay Bucks ng San Pedro ng United Spikers pero kailangan nilang pagtingin pa yung third defense na mas lalo sa mga gano'ng second goal chances. Sayang eh, napapabagal nila yung spikes eh. Molina. Wow, there's the power of the rookie. I told you, Agon. I told you. A revelation. Angel Habakon. Namin talagang na high-flying rookies ngayong season. I, I will add Angel uh, Habakon to my favorites along with uh, Gia Makilang of Letran yeah. na mala, ano naman yun, mala Sisi Rondina uh -huh. naman yun. <laughs> Ayun na nakakatawa eh. Yung mga hindi na biyayaan ng hype. Pero pagdating naman sa jumping abilities, grabe. Alimaw. Meanwhile, Jade De La Cruz getting two early points here as a middle blocker for San Beda. Almost three. Mm -hmm. And Gail Pascual Gail responds Pascual. right away. Gail Pascual. At yung ginagawa ng service karina ni De La Cruz. No? Ginagawa niya short ball yung target. Kasi nakita niya itong CSV Blazers nakasag sa likod eh. Looking for that long ball. Pero ito nga, nung pangalawang guys na nag-serve ni De La Cruz, Pascual. na timing na at tumatik kong puntos para kay Gail Pascual. Molina. Abakot. Dorog. Regalo para kay Abraham. Popped up. Gamit. Gets the point for Benil. It's coming. Nakakatuwa, no? Nakita mo ba yung approach na gamit? Isang, isang step lang. Hindi nila kailangan ng malayong buwelo. Basta tumakas yung bolo sa harap niya. Nagagawa niya ng paraan, eh. And Gamit nonchalantly has eight points already in the match, my friend. <laughs> I love the word, brother. Nonchalant. Uso ngayon sa TikTok, di ba? Loan on the drop. Free ball for Benil. Loan to Dorok. Babalik ang bola sa Benil. One more chance for Mondoniedo. Running attack for Gamit. Mondoniedo calling out the play. Wala pa yung bola sa kanila. Being so confident na makakapunto si Gamit with that long running play. Gamit being so dominant. That's one point away from matching her 10-point output during their Season 99 debut. Dorog. Yes, Dorog! Sobrang napapadali yung buhay ni Dorog kasi yung middle blocker ng San Beda Leader Red Spikers nakapako na kay Gamit expecting na mataas yung porsyento na ibibigay kay Gamit yung bola pero ito nga, sobrang gamit na gamit ni Mondoniedo nabibitaw niya agad, automatic, single block 4-0 run para sa CSB Blazers Habakon Getigan was there, Mondoniedo to Dorog and yes, Dorog scores that's too powerful. And doon yung blockers ng San Beda, Lady Red Spikers. Pero iba yung balikan at braso ni Doro. Masyadong malakas. 7-3 in favor of Benil Molina. Tossing it up to Angel Habakon. Angel Habakon. Showing the fighting spirit. The revelation. Miss Habakon doing her thing. 
Sa gitna ng blockers ng CSD Blazers, find it as fun. Line, Abraham. Parang shotgun tong kanang braso ni Angel. I told you, brother. I told you. <laughs> Nababasag yung block. Here's the pass. Oh! Low and almost getting that point. This time, she's going down the line. Angel Habagon. Back on back to back points. Finding that line kung kanina. Hinahanap niya yung butos ng blockers. Ngayon naman, medyo maluwag yung down the line area. Kaya naman, dinalan niya yung bola. Matalim. Ganda nung eye vision niya doon. May variation sa atake. And like you said, smart for a rookie. Dorog. Molina to Angel. Sabi ni Angel, isa pa. She uh -huh. wants it. She gets it. Not yet. Gamit. Oh. For her 10th point in the match. And when we come back, Diana Igual will have an update at courtside. Don't go away. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lapang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF. Welcome back to the ball game for the coverage of NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Anton and Adjo, in the game of volleyball, selecting the right leader can be as crucial as any play on the court. Nakausap ko nga ang dalawang team captain of both teams and both said a lot about the pressure and how this role is as challenging as it gets. For Jessa Dorog of the Benil Lady Blazers, laking pasasalamat ni Todd kay head coach Jerry Lee at sa kanyang mga teammates considering how she is not one of the seniors pero nandoon pa rin ang tiwala. Now for Max Tayag, more than her capabilities to lead one of her motivations is really to have a good exit in her last playing year. And fun fact lang, according to Coach Edgar, na ibigay din ang role na ito dahil napansin na with a leadership role, mas maganda ang takbo nito, ang takbo ng daro nito on the court. At Tony Tanzo? Minsan ganun talaga yung coaches eh. Pag may nakikita silang isang certain player, kahit hindi pa, hindi pa senior yan, Pag gusto nilang mag-excel, ginagawa nilang captain para magkaroon ng responsibility in and outside the court. Meanwhile, Waylon Estoque continues to show us her improved form. And she gets a point right here on that two-handed power tip. Swing. 
sophomore captain. Doro. A back one. Popped up by Estoque. Quick attack na naman para kay Gamit. Babalik ang bola sa Benil. Mondoniedo. Ooh. A rare miscommunication para sa CSB Pacers. That was a lifted violation galing kay Mondoniedo. Serving up for Santena is Angel Habato. Estoque. Molina tossing it up. Wow. Sophie Kagalawan. At ito din yung nangyari nung first game ng San Beda against uh, Lysane Lady Pirates. First set, talo sila. Pero pagdating ng second set, doon tuma sila bumabawi. Doon pumapasok ng kanilang adjustments. At makikita natin, nagkakaroon ng silang floor defense. Kaya naman nagkaka-transition plays na sila. Benil getting challenged by the jump serves of Angel Habakon. No check, says our first referee. Yes, that was too strong. Kasi kahit ako yun eh, kung matataas yung blockers ko, nakahapaan ko yung palo ko over for that check ball. But yeah, that was too strong. Mondoniedo tossing it up for Waylin. And Waylin Estoque gets Waylin another point Stoke. for Benil. Off the bench, Estoque. Six. Six points for Estoque. Wet spot. Dun sa side ng court ng San Beda. Five point lead for Benild. This is Mitch Gamit serving it up. Molina. Another attack from Sophie Kagalawan. Good floor defense para kay Habakon. Ooh. Amazing. That was to be a quick set. Pero sumobra. <laughs> Nalito rin ang CSB Lady Blazers. Kanina, Jot, tinatanong mo kung uh, namimiss na magpumuntos. Nito si Molina. Ayun na. <laughs> Ilakita niya na. Kung di mo siya makapalo, idaanda ko siya trapo lang mga puntos ko. Biggest change for her. Under new head coach Edgar Barroga, Angel, delikado yung ginawa niya. Oo, oh, pero makita mo yung eagerness niya, di ba? Natakot ako para sa kanya <laughs> And there we see season 97 MVP, Micah Go, who sat out last season due to a knee injury. With the finger heart. She played very sparingly in the second set of the opening match against EAC. At uh, tinanong ko rin si Coach Jerry kanina, how's, how's Micah doing? So she's been practicing for three months. Mm -hmm. Pero siyempre, iba yung actual game sa practice. Yeah. So, dadahan-dahanin muna nila si Micah. They're not going to rush her back into competition. But imagine, may Micah go ka pa sa sidelines. Grabe. Service goes out. Kung kanina, no, at, this, at this time, nung first set, malayo na ako. Ate. Pero ngayon, at least four points na lang ang lamang na si SB Blazers. Tingnan natin kung ano pang adjustments na ginawa ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Molina. Montoniedo to Nolasco. Yan na. Isa na namang rason kung bakit sobrang dominant ng middle spikers at middle blockers ng CSB Blazers. Towering height over the blockers kahit dalawa yung nasa harap niya. Nolasco is the future of this Benil team being that this is only her sophomore year. Yung physicality ni Nolasco, parang veteranong veterano na. Mm -hmm. She's long, she's tall, she's fast. Perfect para sa position niya. And Gail Pascual is explosive. Pascual already with 7 points in this outing. 
Six point lead for Benilde. Estoque. Poor first ball. This is going to be a free ball for Benilde. Pascual from the middle. Another great set play for the CSB Lady Blazers. Tatloy, may nagrunning, may rong nagabang sa utility, may rong open spiker. Sobrang hirap para sa blockers ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Seven point lead for Benil. We'll be back after a few reminders. Asawa ina at OFW Nakaranas. ng emotional, verbal, at sexual abuses. Pabalik ako ng Japan. Baon ko na. Pakarap mo. Buntis ako. Huwag na naman ako sakta. Sabado, 8 p.m. Ang gusto ko, malaki ang puso sa pamilya at sa ibang tao. Ako si Nympha. Handa nang humarurot kasama ka. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Februar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting. Seven point lead for the two time defending champions. Showing their dominance and their consistency. Sobrang limited ng errors sa binibigay nila para sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Kaya hindi makuha ng momentum eh. Gamit the leading scorer for the CSB Blazers right now with 10 points. Alam mo, Anjo, I feel that if, if Micah Go returns to form, this might be the deepest and the strongest Benil team we will see when it's all said and done. It might be at all tama ka dyan. And, I won't go. I own jinx, but I have this feeling, brother. Jade De La Cruz having a good set, huh? The rookie. Yung mga ganong palo pa naman in Spike, confidence booster yun. Mas lalo kapag bata ka pa eh. May imagine yun sa training. Pagbalik mo sa training, ay nagawa ko ngayon kontra sa CSB Blazers eh. Ba't di ko kayang gawin nito? Doon nagbe-build up ang confidence ng isang player. Sanbera getting another point. Now going back to what we were talking about dito sa Benil, alam naman natin na sila yung favorites. Back-to-back champions. Intact lineup, 12 holdovers, returning former MVP. But we also have to take a look at the improvement of the rest of the teams in the league. Lumakas yung Mapua. Mm -hmm. Letran is looking very promising yes. under coach Oliver Almadro. We still have Perpetual. Perpetual has unfinished business. Yes. And so does LPU. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be an easy road for Benil, although in terms of experience, in terms of personnel, this could potentially be their strongest team. Kaya naman nakaka-excite manood talaga ng NCAA Women's Volleyball. Hapakot. 
Montoniedo back set to Pascual. Not that time, too strong ng gigil. No, tough angle para kay Pascual. Medyo alanganin na yung set sa kanya. Pinilit pa niya sa deep cross court. Maganda yung pagkakapwesto ng blockers ng leader Red Spikers. Kaya naman outside para kay Pascual. Montoniedo, quick attack for Gamit. Gamit is just unstoppable right now with 11 points. Matasan niya na yung last outing niya. Sa kanyang last game against the EAC Lady Generals. Wala pang sakot itong Sun Vedo Lady Red Spikers sa quick attacks ni Gamit. Sobrang bilis eh. Zero tempo. Ay, negative tempo. Pansin ko lang ha, sa lahat ng mga players ng Benilde, si Mitch lang yung naka-basketball shoes. <laughs> Ako din, nakita ko rin kanina, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw ba, like, from your experience, you also tried playing with basketball shoes? We do, bro, we do. Pero yung mga low-cut versions. Okay. Like, Kyrie's. So, for you Kobe's. personally, anong mas okay? Basketball shoes? Alam ko yung basketball okay. shoes, it's more of like a recent trend. Mm -hmm. Para sa akin, basketball. Tsaka, it looks way cooler. <laughs> So you feel na mas maganda yung the cushioning? Is it the cushioning for basketball shoes? Yeah, tsaka yung fit niya, tsaka yung traction niya sa court, maganda yung kapit. Naalala ko sa... Women's volleyball. The first players that I used to see that I remember wearing basketball, they were Kobe shoes. Mm -hmm. Sina Aliza, yeah. Gia Morado, De Guzman now, then then Lazaro Revilla. The, the Lady Eagles, they were the first players from the women that that I saw wear basketball shoes for volleyball. Yeah, it's safe to say na naging trendsetter sila. Para sa mga basketball shoes dito sa loob ng volleyball court. Kasi mga idols yun. Gamit trying to get another point. Drop ball works for San Beda. Habakon playing smart para sa last play na yun. Nakita niya yung blockers ng CSC Blazers. Sa harap, nasa harapan niya na. Parehas. Kaya naman nilagay niya sa likod. Automatic puntos kasi nga nakasag. Waiting for that powerful hit galing kay Habakon. Itong depensa ng CSB Blazers that time. See, I told you, hindi siya napapagod sa service line. Pati sa depensa. The effort is there for San Beda. Not making it a walk in the park for the Benilde Lady Blazers in this second set. Another great serve para kay Habakon. And Tapa. Gamit. She's just too fast. Para sa middle blockers ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Sobrang perfect na perfect ni Gamit tsaka ni Montoniet. Basarte, itong mga transition plays nila sobrang bilis. Pas lalo pag galing free ball. Sobrang bilis eh. Down the line attempt. Oh, rare double contact para dito sa Benil. That's Basarte. Yeah, that ball was too fast para makapag-adjust pa si Basarte sa set play na yun. Dikit na sa net masyado. Bawal siya tumunod. Back lane kasi siya eh. Navarro starting off this rally. And Waylon Estoque gets the point for Benil. Grabe yung single block. Ito yung hindi pwedeng bitawan ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Yung mga single block na set plays, kailangan at least dalawa lagi para bumagal yung palo ng CSB Blazers. Cross court. And the captain of San Beda gets the point. Max Tayag. Ganda ng placement shot pa ni Tayag. Not too powerful, pero nakita niya baka hindi dala yung bola. Ito sa ganda. 
Zoom line of Ramen. Kat Molina. Lane Arizapa is actually Klein Abraham, sophomore, is in for San Beda. Dorog, papalika bola sa San Beda. Molina. Abraham, nothing there. Is Toke. Is Toke. Molina. De La Cruz. Nope. Nolasco. Using her height and her long arms. Quick set, quick drop ball. Saan bakante puntos para kay Nolasco. Great vision din. Nakita niya, hindi tumalun. Hindi sumabay sa kanyang isang vlog. Time out, San Beda University. Wait, dapat lang. Kunin lang sa tiyaga. Kunin lang sa tiyaga. Wala naman tayong magagawa kundi tiyaga inyo. Kung ano yung meron tayo, ilabas nyo. I-maximize ninyo. Wala tayong choice. Kailangan magtrabaho kayo dyan. At nakakapuesto ang blockings nila kasi ang tataas naman ng mga set mo, bumabalik na naman. Pabilisin mo. Pahirapan mo sila. Ha? Okay, go, go, go. Ito yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, Antonio. Yung low fast sets kasi nga hoping na bumagal yung paghabol ng blockers ng CSB Blazers. Kasi nga ang lalaki nila, sobrang hirap padaanan ng bola kapag ganyan kalalaki yung blockers mo. Kaya idadadad, dapat natin sa bilis ng sets at bilis ng palo. Molina, back set. And Tayag. Team Tayag. Finding the open spot on the Benil side. Nakita niya, medyo maliit na blocker itong si Doro. Kaya naman, opted for that down the line attack. Successful para kay Tayag. Substition for CSB. And look who's checking into the match. There she is. Season 97 MVP and former team captain as well, former coach as well, Micah Go returning. To play. Now she did play sparingly in the second set of their previous match. Did not score, so we're waiting for that first point in her return. Ang sarap sa feeling yun. Yung babalik ka sa court. Tapos receive pa kayo, kayo a atake. Sarap niya. Go. Perfect pass. Micah on the attack. Basarte. Estoque back row kill. Where was Estoque? Sobrang daming options ng CSB. Baby Blazers. Mapaharap, mapalikod. Kahit saan yung bato ng setters, yung bola nila, alam nila may papalo at papalo. Time out, San Beda University. Ano, ilaban nyo, ha? Lagin dito ang receive. Mag-run ka. Tapos dumulo ka. Dulo-dulo tayo. Cut. Ikaw ang pinaka-quicker dito. Okay, drop ball mo. Diinan mo, ha? Good. Ngayon. Backliner ka po. Backliner ka po. Three spikers tayo. Sino? Sino nasa drop? Line. Ikaw, nasaan ka ngayon nakapuesto? Sa gitna ko. Sa gitna ka. Ay, mag-backquick ka. Mag-backquick ka. Mag-backquick ka, ha? Ha? Okay. Pwede kang ma- Go! So Edgar, Coach Edgar Baroga opting for that back quick and big quick play. Tapos mayroong isang open spiker. So ang options niya, two quick plays, isang idle sa open at mayroong back line. More options para kay Molina kung saan niya dadalhin. Serving now for the Lady Blazers is Corinne Apostol. Apostol. Molina, saan niya dadalhin? Hapakot. Go. Tipping it over. Molina, tossing it up to Angel. Angel Hapakot. Ito yung sinasabi ni Coach Edgar kanina. Babaan mo yung set, pilisan natin para hindi nakakapag-set up ng maayos yung blockers ng CSB Lady Blazers. Makita natin doon, walang tumalon, walang sumabay. Easy point, easy drop goal para kay Hapakot. Cruz, good serve. 
Basarte on the second touch. Basarte to Gamit. And Gamit will get the point for Benilde. Point goes Once again, Mitch Gamit with that quick transition play sa gitna. Still unstoppable. Now 13 points the in the match Basarte. for the graduating middle blocker Mitch Gamit. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Angel Habakon breaks down the wall. There she goes, the flying Habakon. Fearless. The revelation. Itang kita niyang buta sa gitna ng dalawang blocks ng CSB Lady Blazers that time. And with that power, puntos. Hentapa. Jade Hentapa. Gives Benil the second set, 25 to 21. It was Again, a better set for two. San Beda, but Benil, the much deeper and more experienced squad. Kaya naman, sila po ay lamang. Two sets to none. Let's see if San Beda will come alive sa aming pagbabalik for set number three dito sa Season 99 ng NCAA. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang mag sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Aira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup. A tougher set for the Benil Lady Blazers, but in the end, experience led the way as they now lead the San Beda Lady Red Spikers two sets to none. It's a good outing para sa second set dito sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Nakita natin yung spirit ng paglaban nila unlike the first set. Makita rin natin yung pagiging consistent nila pagdating sa defense sa floor, pati sa net defense, nakakakuha na sila ng block rebounds, but then again, kailangan nila ng sagot para kay Mitch Gamit na hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa rin nila nabablock at papapabagal yung mga atake mas lalo na pagdating sa transition plays ni Mitch Gamit and not just her but everyone sa side ng CSB Lady Blazers Gamit leading the way with 13 markers Waylon Estonke also doing some damage Gil Pascual and Jade Hentapa we know what they're capable of putting in points as well but really 
Will in Estoque, if there was a player that we would say improved the most, she's definitely up there sa Benilde. Ayun kasi yung maganda eh. Kapag lahat ng teammates mo nag-excel, nakakahiya kapag hindi ka nag-excel. So kung ikaw yung player na yun na feeling mo neutral ka at hindi ka nag-excel, mas paghihirapan mo eh. Gusto mong makipagsabayan, mas lalo kapag yung may mic ang go ka sa team. Si Coach Jerry ang coach mo, nakakahiya na hindi kumalun at mag-excel. So I'm looking at the lineup now na Nasa court ngayon para sa Benilde. Micah Go will continue to play and she will start this third set. Wow. Uh, you love to see it. In mm -hmm. the previous match, di na siya pinasok after playing in that second set. As we take a look at the numbers. Number Looking three. at this stat sheet, sobrang lamang pa rin yes, ng Benilde Lady Blazers pagdating sa attacking department. Andun na, nakita Serving natin yung blocking Shane prowess Masar na meron itong San Bede Lady Red Spikers. Meron din silang two service aces, but then again, sobrang compensated pagdating sa attacking ng CSB Lady Blazers. Meanwhile, Angel Habakot continues to soar and score. For San Beda gets the first point for the girls in white and red Serving here in Beda set number three. And I'm Harry loving Lamaro. her celebration every time na makakapunto siya. The swag. Makita mo yung fierceness eh. Yun yung kabalik tara ng nonchalant. Yes. <laughs> Back set drop ball by Apostol gets the point for, for Benil. Apostol. So, pati si Corinne Apostol gumagawa na rin ng puntos mm -hmm. para Serving sa Lady Blazers. Corinne, Everyone Apostol. on the side of the CSB Lady Blazers sobrang ready. What a deep team for Coach Jerry. Maika Go. Go. Is that better ready for her? Angel gets denied. Long point for South Nolasco. Good blocking by the CSB Lady Blazers. Ang ganda ng pagkakatapat. Humabol na lang si Nolasco. Saratong sarato yung cross-court attack na inahanap ni Habakon. Back set. Molina. Oh, miss set. Jaden Taba. Uh, you love the effort by the kids. It's nice to see them diving, going for that ball. But that set was too close to net. Para kay Habakon. Habakon actually jumping over the libero. Yeah. What a sight. Nakatuwa. Kung nakita ka ng ganung effort. These are rookies. The libero is Mikai Flores, also a rookie libero. Lasco Saharap. Habakon. And Tapa. Nothing there. Cross court. Maika Go. And they Not say over. it's outside. Yeah. Uh, goes out. Point goes to the Leader and Spikers. Nonchalant pa si Maika Go. Talaga na pinapahirapan si Maika na makuha yung unang puntos niya. <laughs> Kasi doon mo talaga masasabi na she's truly she's, back. Yeah, she's back. <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of Benildians are, are waiting for that moment. And sometimes, Anjo, I'm, I'm sure you know this. As a player, all it takes is one solid play para bumalik yes. yung kumpiyansa. Yes, to remember who you really are deep inside. Muscle memory lang yan. Karir niya. Speaking of muscle memory, Habakon putting too much muscle para sa spike na yon para madepensa ng CSB Lady Blazers. That set was too low para kay Tapa. Awkward angle. Upside. Good save by Jade. 
Micah. Angel. Another point for Angel Habakon. Angel Habakon. Good adjustment para kay Habakon. And doon yung blockers, tough angle, very, very deep cross court. And first time kung nakitang kinusap ni Coach Jerry yung player niya sa loob. Ngayong third set lang. And you can see the seriousness in the demeanor of Coach Jerry Yi. And Anton, brother, first time pala nagkaroon ng lamang itong San Bedi Lady Red Spikers for this game. Micah Go. Ooh. Welcome Mike back, Micah Go. Yes. <laughs> Officially, welcome back. First point for season back. This was Micah Go's first point since game two of the season 97 finals. Wow. Imagine. <laughs> Way too long. She did not play a single match in season 98, recovering from knee surgery. So it's got to feel good for Micah Go, and even for us as volleyball analysts yeah. and fans. Welcome back, MVP. Pero ito, pinapahirapan siya. Ito mga young and promising San Vera Lady Red Spikers. That was not over. Para kayo tapa, wala time. Pero bago yun, bago magsusunod yung bago ngayon na makikita natin yung mga decision niya na sobrang bilis eh. Kung kanina pa na ipalo siya, kanina naman dinanapon niya kung saan walang depensa. Itong CSB Lady Blazers. Kaya nang pumunto si Abacon ka na. It's not just she's strong, pero meron din siyang wit and smart place in her arsenal. Christy Ondangan. Christy Ondangan with a quick attack for Benil. Now serving for CSB is Jaymen Kaba. Benil. That's way too powerful para madepensahan. Molina. Oh! Attack error. Point goes to the Lady Blazers. Nag-hesitate si Tayak. Pero man sobrang awkward na. Nung hitting angle ng kinuha niya at nung kamay niya masyado nang mababa. Head tapa at the service line. Substitution for San Beda, number 14. Substitution here. Tayak, magpapahinga muna. And China Castillo. Sophomore. Open spiker is back on the floor. Para sa mga bedista. So that's three straight points for the Benil Lady Blazers. Kaya naman sila ay papasok sa technical timeout with a one-point lead. Diana Igual will give us an update at courtside when we return. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. 
Uno na nag-qualify sa 49 kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59 kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Mga kapusa at NCAA fans, welcome back to the volleyball action between the Benilde Lady Blazers and the San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Anton and Ancho, we really have to give it to the setters of both of these teams as in any good play. Sabi nyo nga kanina, hindi mawawala dito ang pagkakaroon ng good set. Well, Kat Molina struggled in her transition to being the setter of the team. Both her and Claude Mondaniedo agreed that the key to a good set are these three teams. That's training, timing, and of course, trust sa kanilang mga teammates na kaya nilang itong i-convert or kaya nilang i-convert ang bawat set into a good score for their team. What do you think about this, Anton and Angel? Well, it shows. Diana, they're doing their job and they're doing it with fun and happiness in their faces. Worth it naman for me. A joust at the top of the net is won by San Beda. Navarro. Naunahan si Basarte sa pagkakataon na yun. Oh, and the lead is back para sa side ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. It's a good sign, Anton. De La Cruz. Good serve. Basarte. Ondangan. Risky Ondangan. Again, ang haba. Hindi pinabaw ni Ondangan. Alam niya kung sinundadalin yung ball eh. Ganda ng court vision. Serving na ang CSD is Yung depensa ng San Beto, nasa gitna eh. Wala sa zone 5. Castillo. Denied by Ondangan. Single block coverage para kay Ondangan. No problem. Good timing. Pasarte. Pasarte. Apostol. Castillo. Chai Castillo. That was a check ball. Para kay Chai na Castillo. Off the bench. Pero ito yung kulay. Serving number na papasabay ng bico. Yung San Beto. Itong middle blocker. Yung CSB Blazers. Nahihirapan yung opposite spikers ng San Beda. Wild rally. Difficult set. Ondangan could not tip it over. First error committed by Ondangan. That set was too low. Kaya naman nahihirapan na siya mag-adjust. Parang over yung bola sa kabila. Molina, sharp serve. Apostol. Two blockers were there for San Beda. And Christian Dangan has Ondangan. played a good third set so far. Mabilis na bawe eh, para kay Ondangan. Kanina, commit siya ng attack error. Ay naman, puntos para kay Ondangan. Sa gitna na naman. Serving now for CSP is Christian Ondangan. Nawala pa rin sagot kung San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Service error. Service error Point by Christy on Dangan. The ladies back para sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Serving now for so San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Good sign. Good sign para San Beda Lady Red Spikers. That's a service error na yun. Pinukpok tuloy siya sa ulo ni Mitch Gamit. With that number. And San Beda looking good here in this third Very set. Navarro. Navarro. Being active sa net defense, Navarro. Daming block rebounds and then going for that drop ball sa walang tao. Gandang presence of mind. Two-point lead. 
para sa mga bedista. The biggest lead na nagkaroon itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Wow! Three-point lead. And we will get to hear the voice of Coach Jerry in this huddle. Actually, we won't get to hear the voice of Coach Jerry in this huddle. I forgot. That's Coach Jerry. Yeah. I had a push in the huddle. But all I heard was the players' voices. I forgot. Coach Jerry does that often pala. Yeah. <laughs> so, kailangan ng breather para makapag-usap-usap yung players. Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo of Emilio Aguinaldo College. I remember asking him that years ago, Coach, bakit hindi po kayo nagsasalita sa huddles nyo? Mm -hmm. And his answer to me was, lahat ng dapat nila pag-usapan ay napag-usapan niya sa ensayo. So, pagdating sa game, dapat alam na yan ng mga players. Wow. That's his reasoning. That's the confidence sa players mo, di ba? Time out. Oh, po pala. Hayaan mo sila mag-usap. 4-0 <laughs> run para sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Bringing life to this game. Wewe well, well, Stoke. Well, Stoke, check out. At naalala ko rin, Anjo, I don't know if you remember this, but in season 97, buong elimination round, hanggang sa finals, hindi tumimeout si Coach Jerry. Totoo ba? Yeah. Wow. Game 2 lang siya tumawag ng timeout. Amazing. <laughs> game 2 ng finals, but the whole elimination round, and game 1, hindi siya tumawag ng timeout. So, <laughs> Grabe. Ayun ang definition ng nonchalant. <laughs> before, before, two years before it trended on social yeah, media. it was Coach Jerry himself. <laughs> the epitome of being nonchalant. Yeah. Free ball para sa CSB Lady Blazers. Basarte, kanina siya pupunta. Oh. Waylid Estoque. Bigat. Ang bigat tong palo. The blockers were there, but... It was too powerful for them. It depends on them. San Beda University. Block me. The problem is that you have to block me. Why are you there? You have to block me. You have to block me. You have to block me. If you have a ball, even if you have a ball, you have to block me. Alam mo, I was listening to Coach Edgar Baroga, pero tinitingnan ko rin yung huddle ng CSB Blazers. Sila-sila uh -huh. ulit yung nag-usap. Brother. Nakaupo na si Coach eh. Kanina, no, oh. first set, nakatayo pa eh. <laughs> And actually, even in the second set, di ba, we saw him, the camera caught Coach Jerry very seriously talking to Micah Go. Yeah. First technical timeout na napunta para sa side ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Second technical timeout. We'll take a break. Let's see if Benil can recover. We are in set number three. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. 
Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nang nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang mag sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una na nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWC. Nagpapatuloy ang ating coverage ng NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball. At dito sa third set, naunang San Vera Laban sa Benilde. As we see our Commissioner, Dr. Robert Kahlo, NCAA Season 99 Volleyball Commissioner. So, Anjo, in your eyes, bakit lamang ang San Beda laban sa two-time defending champions dito sa set number three? It's simple, brother. Nag-e-enjoy na sila ngayon. Kung kanina, first two sets, makita mo, sobrang pressure nila. Wala, wala sila sa tamang system ngayon. Sinunod nila yung payo ni Coach Edgar Barogan. Go back to the system. Huwag tayong maratel. Kung ito yung training natin, ilabas lang natin, tapos enjoy lang tayo. At yun lang, lumalabas. Dumidigat at lumamang pa nga. Itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Oh, no timing there on that spike attempt by Nolasco. At nahihirapan na itong CSB Lady Blazers na punan itong three-point lead ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Last season, Benilde only dropped two sets for the entire season. Zam Nolasco. Pero ito na nga, ang bilis ng bahoy ni Nolasco with that running attack. Grabe, no? Huling talo mo, January 19, yep. 2019. And it's 2024. <laughs> wow. Dumaan na ang pandemic at lahat. Oo. Oh. That goes out. Point goes to the Lady Blazers. And now CSB Lady Blazers trailing by one. Eleven points for Wayden Estoque. De La Cruz read like a book by Hetapa and Dolasco. It was it's rare, no, to see a quick. Yung a-attake, pero dalawin blockers sa harap mo kasi usually one-on-one -on -one lagi yan eh. Pero yun nga, so sobrang basang-basa ng CSB Lady Blazers itong atake na gagawin ni De La Cruz. Dalawa ka na sa harap niya. Two straight points para sa Benil. Angel Habakon is Habakon. the moment. Yes! The revelation doing her thing. Single blocker going for that down-the-line attack. Punto sa God para kay Habakon. This is main character energy. I like your terms, brother. <laughs> it's, it's giving. Pag ano eh, pag Gen Z. And the terms are coming out with the way these players are expressing themselves on the court. De La Cruz keeping it in play. 
Angel, drop ball. Wow. Ganda pa, medyo parang off day niya. Yeah, no? Kanina pa siya nagko-commit ng attacking errors. Para sa side ng CSB Lady Blazers. At masakit yun kasi sila yung nagkahabol for this third set. Yut na. Mm -hmm. Attack goes out. Ito yung mga kailangan i-capitalize ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Panghawakan so, na yung lamang nila. Don't commit CSB errors anymore. Kasi nga alam naman natin na sobrang dami ba win para sa side ng CSB Lady Blazers nung alamangan nila. Kasi nga, grabe ang attacking prowess nila. Nakatayo na ulit, brother, si Coach yeah. Jerry. <laughs> Okay, look at this adjustment, Nacho. Yes, Molina bumalik sa kanyang favorite position last season. And going for that checkout. Could this have been the plan all along? Oh, nice theory, brother. Gina Espina, rookie setter. Now in the game along with Molina. And she's playing the setter role. Montoniedo. Dorog. Habakon from the back row. Long rally and a long ball. Attack goes out. Point goes. Wow, that was too long para kay Stoke. A real error para sa kanya. Makita natin, medyo nararatal yung CSB Lady Blazers ngayon. Kaya naman na pa-timeout si Coach Jerry. Timeout. College of St. Wow, nagsasalita siya. Matatakot kayo, didig pas mo. Eh, anong ginawa mo? Hindi ko kasi. Eh, pagka didikit ba yung bola sa net, hindi mo na magagawang paraan yun. Pag nakatalikod ka sa net, hindi mo kaya. Hindi mo na iisip pa paano. Kaya lang, hindi mo mag- Ang tanda na natin dito, nakabahan ka pa. Hindi ka kinakabahan, ang pangit na laro mo. Silence. Yes. A rare sermon yes. on national TV mula kay Coach Jerry Yee. Pero ito nga kasi, kumpiyansya sa players sa kilala niya ang bawat isa. Kaya alam niya ang laro. Alam niya ang kinakabahan lang at hindi ito yung totoong laro. Yung dongan. Nilalabas lang niya. Montoniedo. Pascual. Puts it away. Gail Pascual. Good timeout para kay Coach Jerry and good conversion para kay Pascual. Now here's the thing, brother. Pascual is now in the back row. Yes. So, tignan natin kung sino ang gagawa para sa Benilde. Free ball para sa CSB Blazers. Running attack. Two straight points for the Lady Blazers. Good bawe para kay Ondanga. Keep that head up high. Nakabawi ka na. Running spike. Hindi na depensa. Ni Habakot. Timeout, San Pena University. Pag may depensa kayo, huwag kayong gigil. Pag may depensa kayo, taas nyo yung bola para may chance tayo. Ando na yung opportunity. Tinatapon nyo rin eh. Coach Edgar Boroga emphasizing na andito na tayo. Saya, huwag na natin pakawalan. Two straight points para sa Benilde Lady Blazers. Gil Pascual, serving is not really her strong suit. Last year, just five service aces for Gail. Most of her points really come from spikes. Shai and Shaina Castillo stops the bleeding for San Beda. Ito na yung isa sa katulong ni Habakon kapag nasa likod si Habakon. Shaina Castillo going for that long ball attack. Sinunod niya si Coach Edgar Baronga. Nahihirapan ng depensa ng CSB Lady Blazers habulin yung second ball sana. 
Dorok gets that one in. Buhay pa. Montoniedo running attack. Para kay Ondangan. Transition running attack yun. That's hard to set up. Pero well played. By Montoniedo and Ondangan. Now serving his team captain, Jessa Doro. Mitch Gamet has not seen action in this third set. Let's see if Benil can close the show without her. Lakas! Wewe Stoke! And we are tied 22 all. Since that timeout, brother, kung saan nagsalita si Coach Jerry, it's a 4 to 1 run for Benil. Yes, thank you, Sisile. Kasi nga, hindi sila sa hindi nagsasalita si Coach Jerry pagdating sa timeouts. It's a wake up call for them. Low and Montoniedo puts it away. And more importantly, gives Benil the lead. Lakanina pa nila hinahabol. This is very crucial serve para sa CSB Lady Blazers. Loan, Estoque, Castillo. Attack goes out. And that was out. Point goes Match to the Lady point Blazers. para sa CSB Lady Blazers. Dorog bumalik sa service line. Ito na. All it took, for the match. brother, was Captain one time out. Yeah. And Coach Jerry's voice <laughs> to set things back in order. Estoque for the win. Wewe Estoque. Just like that. Uh huh. That's the end of the set like number three in the match. The final score, 25-11, 25-21, and 25-22. So, tumawag na timeout si Coach Jerry Yee. Pinil was down 21-18. to So, they finished this set 25-22. to So, since that timeout, isang puntos lang yung na-score ng San Beda, uh -huh. yung Pinil, pito. Nag-iba ang ihip ng hangin ng bumukas teams. ang mga bibig ng isang coach, Jerry. I like how you put hangin in it, ha? For a weather uh -huh. man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Staying in character, Anjo Pertiera.
win number two here in season 99 of the NCAA for the two-time defending champions, the Benil Lady Blazers, as they sweep San Vera 25-11, 25-21, 25-22. At sa aming pagbabalik, makakausap namin ni Andrew Pertiara, ang player of the game. Don't go away. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang mag sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Aira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa atleta at Tokyo Olympic... Papatuloy ang ating coverage ng NCAA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game. Tagumpay ang Benilde Lady Blazers laban sa San Vera Lady Red Spikers 25-11, 25-21, 25-22. It is a 2-0 start for the defending back-to-back -back champions, Benilde. Anton Ross together with Anjo Pertiera. Anjo, what can you say about what Benil showed, I know there was a little bit of turbulence mm -hmm. para sa kanila in set number three. But overall, what do you like from the team of Coach Jerry? Andun pa rin yung pagiging prideful nila as champions. Kasi makikita nga natin, sabi mo nga, medyo naging shaky yung latter part nung sets para sa kanila. Pero andun yung pagiging resilient nila. As champions, may pinangahawakan kayong pride. Andyan yung bahol tayo matalo. Huling talo natin January 19, 2019 pa, hindi dapat masundan anytime from now. Kaya naman makita natin pagiging serial nila, bumawi sila from that timeout na pinag-uusapan natin. First time natin na dinig, si Coach Jerry sa isang timeout. From that, from his words, nagising, nag-iba yung ape ng hangin para sa CSB Lady Blazers. At may kita natin dito, 55, a whopping 55 attack points para sa Benil Lady Blazers. But, if your coach Jerry, mas gugustuhin mo na mas mababa yung errors nila kumpara sa kalaban. Tama Anton, pero kung makikita rin natin no, hindi lang pagdating sa atake nag-excel itong Benilde Lady Blazers. Meron silang sobrang gandang floor defense at nilamang pa rin nila yan. Kontra sa Sanbeda Lady Red Spikers, meron silang 40 excellent digs. 
in comparison sa 13 ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Pagdito naman sa blocks, almost tayo lang. Pero mas maraming ginawang block rebounds. Itong Benil Lady Bezos kaya naman na parami yung mga transition plays nila at attack transitions na napunta sa puntos at na-convert nila into second chance points. Ngayon mga kapuso, sinabi ko before we went into the break that we would have a chance to interview the player of the match. But unfortunately, I think Coach Jerry is very serious. He wants to talk to the players first mm -hmm. in the dugout. Kaya kung may kita po ninyo ngayon, walang players ngayon from the Benil Lady Blazers. Mm -hmm. Kaya naman magme-men's update muna kami ni Anjo Pertiera. And there is a player here from the San Beda side worth mentioning. Axel Van Book, 32 Book. points. Amazing. Pero yung pangalan ha, Book. Book. Alam mo na, ilista mo na kapag nasa court. <laughs> si Book. Ito, panoorin natin. 32 points laman, brother Anton. So let's spot the guy wearing jersey number four from San Beda. Ito pala yung kinover mo ng trending si Andre Bellic. No, San Beda. <laughs> Dancers to me. Nakita ko na, na, na naman si, ano, eh, si Russ eh. <laughs> Team captain na pala siya ngayon. All right, let's look at the highlights. So this was a four-set win for San Beda. And we always describe the men's game here in the NCAA as very explosive. Yes. And very, there's the guy. Mm -hmm. I was expecting a foreign-looking guy. So it's Bo. It's not Bo. <laughs> More confirmation, Anton, brother. Bo. <laughs> My, my mistake. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that's why we need these visuals, Anjo. Yes. Yeah. So let's to, to confirm. It's Axel Van Book. Ma, yeah. 32 points. And a four set win against the CSV Blazers. Eye popping kasi yung 32, eh. But not yeah. just the 32. Yung last name niya na Book. Or I should say Book. Bo yeah. yeah. <laughs> Axel Van Book. Dito naman sa Benildians, ang nanguna sa scoring si James Harold Marasigan at si Mike Adrian Palbakal. Yes, pero itong maganda sa CSB Blazers, hindi tulad ng sa San Pedro University na si Book lang ang nagproduce ng sobra. Dito sa CSB side, marami nag-contribute, marami. Lima silang nasa double digits na nasa ang pinuntos. Medyo dikitero yung uh, scoring. Nagkatalo lang sa serve. San Beda with four service aces. Benilde with two. Nagkatalo so, sa output na binigay ni Bo. 32 points. Actually, sa, uh, may mga nagtatanong kasi, brother, eh, na bakit wala ng live streaming. Actually, there is still some live streaming on the NCAA Philippines Facebook page and the GMA Sports PH Facebook page as well, powered by Arellano University. So if you guys want to check out the men's matches, you can watch them via live stream still. Alam na natin, mga kapuso natin, na may miss na itong men's action live. Kasi may sobrang fast-paced, explosive, Dami ang san. <laughs> Now, I miss ko nga yung banner ni Ben San Andres last year. Oh, oh, yun na rin. May kalapate, may ulap. Oh, for first look eh, isipin mo, ibang meaning Iba. eh. <laughs> Now, partner, I know you're very busy with your new life. I'm gonna greet you in advance. Happy one year anniversary as a weatherman. <laughs> How are things for you? Do you miss the game of volleyball being around it now and watching these men's highlights? Bro, dahil dyan, may bate rin lang ako sa'yo mamaya. Abangan mo. <laughs> Pero thank you, bro, sa pagbate. And syempre, at yung first love ko eh. So, may miss ko pa yung miss ko. Mas lalo pag nasa sidelines lang ako, pag nanonood ako, gusto kong makipalo minsan. Gusto kong tumalon, papunta sa court. Ako papalo, ako de-depensa. Pero hindi na pwede. Pero nga, brother, congrats din sa iyong bagong bahay. Oh. Bro, ito. <laughs> Kinongrats mo. Meron din lang ako sa'yo. So, kwentuhan mo na makamit ang onting background about your new house. Man, I, I don't know if this is the place to, 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 to do that because, uh, you know, Ito naman yung sinusubukan natin ni build up ito mga manlalaro dito sa larangan ng volleyball and like you said you miss it and we miss it as well mm -hmm. we're just happy to be able to tell the stories of, of these athletes and yun nga ang tema natin for season 99 new heroes of the game at ito nga bagong pangalan Axel Van Book 
Pero bro, i-coconnect ko lang yung okay. bahay mo dito sa paglalaro yes. ng volleyball. Kasi nga, it's about building character. Yes. Parang bubuo ka ng pundasyon ng iyong bahay, ng pillars mo. Kailangan matibay yan at kitang-kita natin yung pundasyon na yan kay Axel Van Boop para sa San Beda University. At alam na meron silang isang tindig ng bahay na maasal. Sobrang ibay. So I, I see the skills that you're building from creating documentaries from waking up early in the morning, reading off the prompter, going to Pag-asa, studying and learning about the weather. Na-apply mo pala dito, yes, Anjo. Bro, okay. Impromptu okay. lahat. Very brother. good. That's a two thumbs up for Mr. <laughs> Anjo Pertiera. Congratulations uh, to the Sunbury University Red Spikers for their four-set victory against the Benil Blazers. Solid win for them. And uh, remember the name, Axel Van Boog. Mm -hmm. All right, magbe-break muna kami ni Pareng Anjo Pertiera, the weatherman from Unang Hirit. Keep it right here on GTV for the continuation of our post-match coverage. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kilogram weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una na nag-qualify sa 49 kilogram weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWC. Once again, the Benil Lady Blazers picking up their second win dito sa ating panibagong torneo, 25-11, 25-21, That was the set scoring. The only real challenge talaga para sa Benil Lady Blazers was that third set kung saan lumamang ang mga bidista. 21-18, Coach Jerry calls a timeout and was in the ear of Christy Ondangan, nagising yung kanya mga players, and then went on a 7-1 run to close out the set and take the win. Pero ang magandang sinyalis naman, on the other side, parang masa San Beda Lady Red Spikers, kung makita natin yung set scores, no? pataas yung kanila, may improvement, may progress, at alam natin na nag adjust sila every after DT. Kung ngayon ang first set, makita natin, 11 lang, and then from 21, and then 22. Makita natin yung progress ng score, nakikita natin na pinaghihirapan pa rin nila, pinagtatrabahoan pa rin nila, each and every set, it's a improvement, Kaya naman, it's a nice, it's a good sight and it's a good sign for Coach Edgar Barog and for his squad. Niya. And we saw also towards the end, the adjustment that si Molina suddenly came back to his being open spiker. So we know that there are some adjustments, there are some changes si Coach Edgar Baroga. 
ng San Beda. And that's what makes the game interesting. Yeah. Tsaka, eto na nga. Let's repeat, no, Anton. The revelation, <laughs> Habakon. The Sabi? young Gretchen Saltones. Non-stop jump serve. Uh -huh. and, and very consistent. Wala siyang error sa service line. Kanina, kinonect mo yung usapan natin. Ngayon, ako naman, susubukan okay. ko. Ay, kukonect ko. Okay. Jump Let's serve see. eh. Di ba? Okay. Serve. We hear that a lot sa, sa lawn tennis. Yeah. Oh. oh. Speaking of lawn tennis. Wow. Good transition, <laughs> brother. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Nagkaroon po tayo ng lawn tennis tournament dito sa NCAA Season 99. Ano ba nangyari? Sino ang nanalo? Panoorin natin to. Another event that made a triumphant return in NCAA Season 99 was lawn tennis. But no school in the league celebrated more than Benil as both their men's and women's teams bagged the gold at the Philippine Columbian Association in Paco, Manila. Hello mga ka-NCA, nandito po tayo ngayon sa Philippine Columbian Association Sports Club para sa pagpapatuloy ng NCAA Season 99 Lawn Tennis Tournament. After Carl Obalde's tough loss against Mapua's Lawrence Kitara 5-7-6-2-3-6 in the first singles match, Benil rallied back as Francis Lera and Gian Macaraig defeated Al Kiza and Joaquin De Leon 6-2-6-4 in their doubles encounter. Reniel Marceliana sealed the deal for Benil as he prevailed over Alvin Rosales 6-1-5-7-7-5 in the second singles match to capture the school's fourth seniors crown in history. What was running into your head nung alam mo nahihirapan ka na and yet you have to continue para sa team mo? Uh, ginawa ko po kanina is tiwala lang po sa sarili ko kasi hindi po talaga ako nag up kasi alam ko po na kakayanin ko to para sa team. Nung nag na po ako, hinaya ko po talaga kasi iniisip ko po talaga yung tiwala ng teammate ko at yung coaches ko. Carl Ubalde was named MVP while Gian Macaraeg was hailed as the Rookie of the Year. Another Benilian, Fern Po, earned recognition as the Freshman of the Year while John Ray Moreno was awarded as the Coach of the Year. Anong pakiramdam na after the long wait pandemic, ito na, nagbalik na ang NCAA Lawn Tennis Tournament? Um, sobrang saya po kasi nagbunga yung mga paghihirap namin, yung sacrifices, disiplina sa sarili at sa team namin at nakuha namin yung champion ulit. Freshman pa lang siya and yet nakuha mo na yung Rookie of the Year. Anong pakiramdam mo ngayon, Gia? Teachers walang masabi kasi first time po na makasali ng NCAA, di rin inaasahan. Unexpected din na makapag-champion kami ngayon season. Kung merong isang memorable advice na binigay sa'yo yung mga seniors mo, kung meron man, <laughs> ano ba ito? Kung ripe na po yung mango, kunin nyo na. Nakita ka na ba naming MVP next season? Ah, hindi lang ako sure pero I will try my best. Over in the women's division, Benilde also won 2-1 but this time over Perpetua. When Daniela Dandalanin and Christy Sanoza's match ended in retirement after the first set in favor of the latter, the Taft-based netters picked up the slack as they won the doubles and second singles matches that followed. Dorel Lagura and Kiana De Asis bested Laika Sanoza and Cindy Nugget 6-3-3-6-6-3 before Valerie Desoyo outplayed Ira Nugget 6-0-6-2 to recapture the women's title Benil last one during the inaugural staging of the event in Season 91. Valerie Desoyo won the Most Valuable Player trophy, while Kiana De Asis was recognized as the Rookie of the Year. John Ray Moreno was recognized in this division as well for Benil as the Coach of the Year. Kaano kasarap sa pakiramdam yung after all these years, last year mo na ngayon at nakuha mo pa yung MVP? Sobrang happy po and super blessed. Thankful po sa mga lahat ng sumaporta at saka sa buong team po na grabe po yung pagmamotivate sa amin po. I'm so happy din po sa team na nakuha pa namin back to back. Freshman, first time niya sumali sa lawn tennis tournament, rookie of the year agad. Tell us, anong nararamdaman mo? Uh, Nakaka-overwhelm po and super blessed po kasi despite everything na no experience about NCAA po, nakuha namin as a champion po, kahit first time lahat. Coach, first, ano yung pakiramdam na after the pandemic, yung matagal natin hinintay, eto na, nagbalik na ang lawn tennis tournament sa NCAA. Super, super saya kami na bumalik na yung competitions ng mga sa tennis side. Tuloy-tuloy na po yung pag-improve ng mga players at pag-recruits ng mga players. Actually, yung, ang naging advantage po namin is yung puso. Perseverance, hard work, nandun na po kasi lahat eh. Congrats again coach, dala-dalawang trophy mo. Ano ba ang susi para maging coach of the year? Hindi naman 
award ko para sa akin, eh, the, the reason why I become a coach of the year is because of my players. Maniwala lang sa sarili, continue improving yourself. Ella Natividad of San Beda University did not come home empty-handed though as she snatched the Freshman of the Year award. And that's it mga kapuso para sa NCAA Season 99 Lawn Tennis Tournament. This has been Anne Gabriel and see you guys! And that mga kapuso was your NCAA Season 99 Lawn Tennis Recap. Alam niyo mga kapuso, swak na swak yung pagpasok namin ng lawn tennis feature dahil yun nga, ang mga nanalo, Benilde, pati yung San Beda, hindi umuwi na empty-handed as the Rookie of the Year also came from San Beda. And because we said na makakausap namin ni Anjo Pertiera, ang player of the match, kasama na namin ngayon sa wakas, si Cloan Mondoniedo. Hi, Clo. Oh wait, that's... Uh, uh Open the volume. Ayan. 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 Hi, Clo. Ayan. Hello. Hello. Hi, Kaulet. Take two. So, first question. Anton, do the honors. Ha! <laughs> because sanay na sanay ako na to, to give out the burning questions. Uh -huh. okay. Loan, this is hard for me to ask, but I have to ask because uh, the fans have been waiting. Uh, ano ba ang sinabi ni Coach Jerry sa inyo during the dugout? Dumerecho kayo sa loob eh, right after yes. the match. Um, syempre, uh, disappointed pa rin siya dun sa latter part ng game kasi nga um, nakalamang yung San Beda and medyo nag-struggle talaga yung team. Um, kasi uh, we try na lahat talaga makalaro eh. Kasi hindi pwede na kung sino lang yung nasa first six, yun lang yung maglalaro. So talagang ini-explain niya sa amin na hindi... Yun yung pinaka-point niya kanina, na hindi pwede na same six yung maglalaro hanggang semis or what or finals. Ganun. Ito, Klo, anong pakiramdam naman na kapag naglalaro ka, sobrang dami mong options sa loob? Yeah. <laughs> Nahihirapan ka ba? <laughs> Nahihirapan ako pumili. Okay. <laughs> Kasi, uh, syempre lahat naman sila magagaling mm. talaga. And ang sarap nilang bigyan lahat. Kasi once na binigay ko sa kanila yung bola, talagang pinapatay nila. So, ayun, as much as kaya ko na ibigay sa lahat, ibibigay ko talaga sa lahat. Yun yung tinatawag, uh, brother, na good problem. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, ito, Kloan. When I was doing my research last night about your team, nakita ko, grabe, 12 holdovers, meaning labing dalawa yung players nyo from last year's championship team na naglalaro pa rin for Benil. And then, of course, former MVP Micah Go joining the team. Kaya naman tama yung sinabi mo na hindi pwedeng yung first six lang yung maglalaro dahil napakalalim ng lineup nyo. Now, would you say, kasi Anjo and I were discussing this, Possibly ba, ito ba yung potentially ah, yung strongest lineup ng Benil Lady Blazers during the time of Coach Jerry? Feel ko hanggang mawala kami, strong pa rin yung lineup namin. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero yeah. para sa amin kasi ni Anton, ito yung deepest. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, huh? yeah let, let's use that word, no? the yeah. deepest the lineup. Deepest. Kasi yeah. nga 12 holdovers, tas bumalik mm -hmm. pa si Maika. Ito, Klo, uh, may tanong din ako, no? May binago ba kayo para sa training regimens nyo or nag kayo ng mindset? May binago ba kayo sa meals nyo? Kasi back-to-back -back champions kayo eh. So going for three this year, this yeah. season, may binago ba kayo or as is lang? Wala. Same lang, to hmm. be honest. Simula sa pool nung pumunta kami sa CSB, system ni Coach, wala naman nagbago. Nadadagdagan siya pero uh, same lang din yung ginagawa namin. Ganun. Anong pakiramdam na nonchalant ang isang Coach Jerry <laughs> tuwing times? Um, kasi alam naman namin kung ano na dapat yun na, kung ano daw dapat yung gawin namin sa loob ng court. So expect na namin na during game, uh, ganyan talaga siya. Kasi sa training, doon niya lahat kami kinokorek eh. Yeah. Glow, how do you challenge yourself? Kasi nga, di ba, sanay kayo manalo, yes. same system, same instructions. How do you keep things exciting na parang hindi everyday same-same? Um, Siyempre, may goal naman talaga kami simula nung pumunta kami dito nung first day pa lang eh. Gusto namin mag it So, yun yung nilulook forward namin. Kaya every game, parang excited kami maglaro at ginagalingan namin. Okay, at dahil ginalingan nyo today, you are our player of the match. I'm sure there are some people that you want to greet na nanunood ngayon at sumusuport na sa inyo. Um, binabati ko po yung family ko sa Mindoro, sa UK, and sa Malabon. Um, hi sa family ng teammates ko and sa CSB community, thank you for supporting us and kay Wilfrey Magbuas. Hi. 
Mm. <laughs> yes, I thought. Talagang uh, in-insert yung, uh -huh. yung last person. Okay, we will uh, just leave that to, to, to Chloe as to who the special person is. But right now, <laughs> let's turn it over to Waylon Estoque, who is with Diana Igual. All right, so uh, Willen, congratulations on uh, getting that win. That is such a remarkable, you know, play. Now, my first question for you, what are your thoughts? Because of this game, this would be your 31st winning streak so far. For me po, uh, masaya po kasi uh, nakaabot kami ng ganyan, 31st. Pero uh, siguro, yan yung magiging way namin na makuha pa rin yung win namin. Dagdagan pa din yung 31st. Ayan. Now let's talk about your second and third set. There's That's quite a rare situation. Of course, knowing the Benil the Lady Blazers, hindi kami sanay na merong quite a few rattles and scrambles from the players. What do you think happened inside the court during those sets? Um, Siguro po, kasi nung pinasok na ni coach yung mga sila ate, siguro may mga lapses po kami na uh, nagkulang kami dun sa loob ng court, nagkakagulo. And then, siguro yung mga uh, sa first ball, dun kami nagkakagulo eh kasi dahil sa sobrang dikit yung set, nahihirapan yung setter. And then, ayun, lapses talaga. Nagkakaroon kami ng rumble dun. Okay, so last time out, we've seen and heard Coach Jerry say a few words to the, to the rest of the team. Ano naman... And after that, actually, nabuhay na kayo, tuloy tuloy na kayo up until the match point. So, what are your thoughts about it? Ah, uh, kasi po, uh, gusto po talaga namin manalo. Eh. Gusto namin makuha agad yung set. And ayon na namin pahirapan yung sarili namin. So, kailangan namin uh, lumaban talaga. Kaya ganon. All right. So once again, congratulations to you and your team. Now it's your time. Na para batiin naman ang lahat ng mga kailangan mong batiin. Um, Hello, binabati ko po yung family ko po sa Cotabato and sa Tagig and sa Barungis and yung kuya ko po na nasa Kuwait and yung mga friends ko po sa Cotabato tsaka yung uh, family ng teammates ko and the CSB community po. Thank you po for supporting us. Alright, so that's it for Will in Estoque, the outside hitter of the Benilde Lady Blazers, Anjo and Anton. Maraming salamat, Diana. Ito, Anjo, hindi natin pwede palampasin to. Kasi Siyempre. first match nila, best player of the match siya. Mm -hmm. Dapat this match, yeah, huh? siya ulit eh. Kaya lang, linabas siya ni Coach Jerry Yee. And yun nga, sinabi sa atin ni Kloan kanina na they're a deep team. So kailangan lahat palaruin. But even though she only played two sets, naka-13 points si Mitch Gamit. Ano ba sekreto, Mitch? At uh, sobrang ganda ng pinapakita mo in your graduating season. Um, uh, kapag pupunta ako ng game, parang excited lang ako maglaro. And then, kapag nasa loob na ako ng court, um, ginagawa ko lang yung part ko. And hindi, hindi ko muna iniisip yung mga iba. So, Mitch, focus lang ako. Mitch, do you feel any pressure right now? Kasi nga, sabi ni Coach Jerry Karina, nag-timeout kayo. No? Ang tagal na natin dito, kinakabahan pa ba tayo? Ikaw, kinakabahan ka pa ba? Hindi. Hindi, hindi ako kinakabahan kapag alam ko yung ginagawa ko eh. And mm. yun nga, yung kanina na nadikitan kami, parang challenge yun sa amin na and challenge yun sa, sa amin para sa mga pukpukan na games, mm. alam namin yung gagawin namin and makokontrol namin yung emotions namin. Meron bang nafe-feel na burden ngayon na isa ka, isa ka lang na gagraduate no, na player? May, meron ka bang certain responsibility at pinangahawakan? Um, feeling ko as ate lang nila na hindi naman, hindi naman ganun kabigat for me. And yun, gagawin ko lang yung part ko as nandito pa ako. Tuloy, tuloy lang. Anjo, gusto ko yung delivery mo nung first question mo eh. Yung, are you feeling any pressure right oh, now? Oh, Pang pa pageant yes. yung ano. <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, ang ganda ni Mitch eh. Oh. Ang ganda. Uh, it, it's hard to find the question para dito kay Mitch Gamit kasi na-interview na siya nila Martin sa panalo nila in the first game. So, ito na lang. Yung, yung character development mo, Mitch. Season 97, blonde hair champion. Season 98, black hair champion. Season 99, it's a mix of blonde hair and black hair. Champion na naman ba ang binil? Wait lang, gusto ko yung na, nabantayan mo yung <laughs> pohok niya, bro. Hindi, <laughs> yung, 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 
may miss eh kasi oh, blonde yeah. eh, di ba? Yeah. Tapos uh-huh. syempre inaabangan ko ano yung next, black. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ngayon, iba na naman, new look. O oh, di ba? Okay, what is the Yeah, story behind oh. the color of your hair. Uh, <laughs> yung story ng hair ko, ano, parang gusto ko lang magiba and then graduate na ako eh. Mm. So hindi na siya bawal. <laughs> Dapat pag graduate may ano eh, may crown. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mitch, I'm sure maraming nanonood ngayon. Baka gusto mo sila batiin. Again, you are uh, part of the post-match interviews dito sa Season 99. Um, thank you for the CSB community for keeping supporting us and please do keep support us throughout this season and hello to my family in Mindanao. Thank you for supporting Binil. Lang. Parang may kulang, Anton. Oh. Kasi si Chloe kanina may binati. Oo oh, nga pala, no? Oo, oh, oh. si Chloe meron. Full name, eh. <laughs> Ikaw, Mitch, wala kang babadiyan. Wala. <laughs> <laughs> wala talaga. Meron, ayaw lang sabihin. Meron. meron. Nandun na, eh. nasa dulo. <laughs> Nakita ko. Hello sa mga ano, sa mga nanonood ng mga prof ko dun. Thank you. Ayaw. Yun naman pala. <laughs> Yung prof mga talaga. Prof. Last chance, Mitch. <laughs> What? <laughs> There's still time. <laughs> anyway, marami pa to. Marami uh-huh. pang uh, chances si Mitch. Sa ngayon, sige, warm up muna. Second uh, time with the post-match interview. Mitch, maraming salamat Thank sa you. oras and see you Thank in you. the succeeding matches. Mitch Gamit, once again, our honorary best player of the game dahil naka-13 points siya mm-hmm. para sa Binil. Within today. two sets. Yes, within two sets. Amazing. Let's uh, stress that. Okay. Let's go to our home court at kilalanin ang uh, ilan sa mga team captains natin dito sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball. E. Breaks down the wall. And now they get the crown! Your NCAA Season 98 Champions! The Benilde Lady Blazers! Siyempre po yung team, uh, we prepare. Like, siyempre, we want to be uh, physically conditioned and mentally prepared for this season. Lahat naman po ng teams is nag-prepare for this coming season. Like us din po na um, we really, like, we all want to be at the top naman. So, siyempre, um, wala akong, lahat naman po ng teams, siyempre. Diba? Kailangan din ng hard work. The back row. Huwag mento para sa EAC. Good dig by Alonia. So pinagandaan po namin yung season na to. Um, nag-focus kami more on skills namin. Siyempre sa training. Mas better kami sa than last season. Makikita nyo na mas, uh, mas pag-iigihan namin na mag-strive pa more pataas. Kasi nga um, nasa bottom kami. So mas ipupush namin yung team namin pataas. And yes, they will. Oh, what keeps them going? Simply lang naman daw ang kanilang sagot at ito ang isat isat. Lahat maabangan, lalong lalo po yung mga rookies namin, um, kasi malaki yung tiwala namin sa kanila. Sa lahat po ng mga sumusuporta sa amin, maraming maraming salamat po sa walang sawa ninyong suporta at pinapangako po namin na gagawin po namin yung best namin this season. We've seen one of the best uh, rookie classes of. Uh for NCAA and uh, both of these teams have these prized rookies. May mga makikita kayong new faces that will really um, contribute to the team. The rookies, especially of course, um, yung mga batang-bata namin na pero pag sumalang makikita mo na may pusong palaban talaga. Grabe yung power! Simula pa lang pero napakalakas na getting one for uh, the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Sobrang laking adjustment din po yung ginawa namin sa team. Um, since puro bata nga po yung team namin ngayon. So mas, mas kailangan namin nag-double time sa effort namin. I'm proud to say na palaban po yung mga rookies namin this season. Alam namin na pag sinalang sila sa court, gagawin po nila yung best nila. I know it became a talking point nung season 98 na one of the best rookie classes in NCAA women's volleyball 
in recent memory. Mm-hmm. Pero dito sa season 99, ang dami ulit eh. Ang daming magagaling. We just saw Angel Habakon who yeah. you described as a young Gretzel Soltones. Mm-hmm. And swak na swak yung analysis mo doon, yung comparison mo. J- tsaka it's nice na ang NCA nagiging parang breathing ground ng yeah. homegrown talents na from scratch makikita natin yung development and yung growth ng bawat isa. Kaya it's so exciting to witness new players and yung teams na alam natin na mag excel pa. Kaya sarap manood talaga ng NCA, ibang klase. And also, yung improvement ng mga players, ha? like uh, yung mga rookies last season who are now sophomores and Waylon Ostoke who mm-hmm. Diana interviewed. Para sa akin, yung level ng paglalaro niya also took a huge step forward. And it's so nice na nangu-witness natin. Yeah. No, every year na from this and then to far, far, far greater heights. Mm. Inspiring. <laughs> Kailangan talaga. <laughs> there, 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 there has to be a story. Just like Mitch Gamit's hair and yeah. yung achievements. Kailangan paangat ng paangat eh. And that's what we hope. That's why Anjo and I and the rest of our colleagues do what we do. It's mm-hmm. to tell the story of the players and help them reach their dreams here in sports and in life. And inspire new ones para Yon. sa mga nanonood. Para mapalitan yung mga bata dati na tatanda. Mm. May papalit na batang inspired dahil sa panood nga nila sa TV. Exactly. Mga kapuso, maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood at patuloy na pagsuporta sa NCAA Season 99. Andrew Pertiera woke up very early to do his regular gig sa unang hirit and right after went straight to fill oil dito sa San Juan to work the game with me. Brother, maraming salamat for the time and uh, great salamat, job bro. as always. Good luck sa Game On Podcast, bro. Ha? Oh, nga pa, yeah. thank Manoorin you, thank you yan. so much. Every Friday po yan. Mm-hmm on GMA Sports PH and wherever you listen to your podcast. Thank you for, for the plug. Welcome, and, uh, brother. Do watch Anjo Pertiera <laughs> every morning at Unang Hirit. On behalf of everybody from GMA Synergy, of course, our director, Elmond Salvahan. Of course, Manny Gabutina and our courtside reporter, Diana Igual, and all of us from GMA Synergy. My analyst here today, Anjo Pertiera. Ako po si Anton Rojas nagsasabing maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. We'll see you all again next time sa pagpapatuloy ng NCAA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game. <laughs>